Welcome. This is Luca Comai, and today we're going to talk about the 10 most important things about meiosis. Number one, meiosis consists of two consecutive cell divisions to make gametes, right? Actually, no, it is wrong. Meiosis consists of two specialized cell divisions to reduce chromosome number to half in preparation to making gametes sooner or later. Let's consider a few life cycles to make the point. We're going to start with humans. Here is a human male and his gonads. And here is a human female and her gonads. In the first case, the testicles. In the second case, the ovaries. In each organ, specialized diploid cells, the germline, enter meiosis to produce respectively for sperms or one egg and two polar bodies or terminal cells. The gametes are haploid, one N, and in this case meiosis results in gametes. To continue the life cycle, fertilization forms a 2N zygote that through many mitoses forms a human baby. Ok, now that reproduction is taken care of, let's get these guys in some underwear. Here is another life cycle. In yeast, a diploid cell can divide indefinitely, but sometimes it enters meiosis to produce four haploid cells that in turn can divide indefinitely. Sometimes two haploid cells of opposite mating type enter into sexual fusion forming a zygote. How long can diploid or haploid cells grow without entering meiosis or sexual fusion? Many examples are provided by fungi imperfecti, a category of fungi belonging to widely different species that share life apparently without sex. Let's consider the life cycle of a plant. Inside a plant flower are the equivalent of the animal germline cells. Diploid cells inside the anther, the myocytes, undergo meiosis to form pollen. Inside the carpels, myocytes undergo meiosis to form the egg. There is a bit more than meiosis at work in forming the plant gametes. Both in the case of pollen and of the egg, the product of meiosis is not the gamete. The haploid cell undergoes two mitotic divisions in the male and three mitotic divisions in the female to form small haploid organisms. Pollen is actually made of three cells, one of which is the sperm that fertilizes the egg. The egg sac is made of eight cells, one of which is the egg. The real father and mother of a plant are actually two very small critters that live a very short haploid life. Let's review some typical life cycles. We will use a clock to illustrate a sexual cycle using red for the diploid phase and green for the haploid phase. Meiosis and sexual fusion serve as punctuation marks. The 2N phase starts with sexual fusion and ends with meiosis. Vice versa for the 1N phase. The first life cycle is that of a vertebrate, in this case the dog. The next life cycle is the one of beer yeast. The third cycle is the one of higher plants. Last is a cycle of a mold, a fungus. In conclusion, meiosis can directly produce gametes, but it can also produce haploid cells that will engage in many, many mitoses. Thank you.